welcome back to the Influence Club podcast. Well, today is just get out there and do it. Do something different. You know, um, most of you out there are entrepreneurs or something like that. And you do the same old things every day and hopes that you will increase your business and you never try anything different. So, try something different. Try something that somebody suggested and you just, oh, well, no one else in my industry does that, so why should I? Do something that no one else in your industry would even think of doing. Try it. See what happens. See if you wind up in front of your target audience. See if you find the faces that you're looking for in your business that will make things run smoothly. Oh, wait. Are you a solopreneur? No, oh, I got a good one for you then. Try this one. Hand off those tasks that you aren't really good at to someone who only is good at them, but they thrive on them. Share your workload. See if it makes you more productive. You never know. It's like, whoa, oh, well, you know, no one else. Is, yeah, I know that's a solopreneur. We do everything ourselves. That's why we're solopreneurs. Good point. But does a solo act always win? Does that solo act always rise straight to the top? Or do you really need a team to make things truly happen? You know, it, okay, we're recording these so that we can boost where we will appear in iTunes when in, we actually start interviewing people. And um, while, I'm, while I'm doing this, I'm actually going around getting help from other people to add to a guest list so that we can have some really cool interview interviews come in and help us make, make this podcast really shine. And we're going to bring them into certain events and everything. And we're going to do the live cast in front of a live audience when, as, as we build this whole thing out. It's going to be totally, totally awesome. But I will tell you this. When I try to do things all by myself without going around asking people for help, it's when I start to run into trouble. So don't be a solo act. Ask for help. You know? And you never know. Some of those people that you ask for help could also turn into referral sources. We all like referrals, right? I mean, I get asked all the time. Well, can I have a testimonial for what I for, for the thing I just did for you? How many times do you ask for a testimonial? A testimonial is the start to that referral. You're asking someone to testify that your service were, services were outstanding. It's almost the same as asking for a referral, don't you think? Well, learn to think outside of the box with the rest of the rest of your industry. Step out side the box you just burnt that your industry handed to you and try something different. It might actually work out for you. Well, that's about all all I got to say for today, so 
Look out for the next rant that may be coming up. And we're going to go back to Emma Turnerbach with Destiny. Because it is our destiny to be successful. Yeah. Uh-huh.